Okay, there goes nothing. What up, Fox? Wolf Ooh. said the engineer is here. Welcome back to our beautiful base. And I'm not happy. We don't have batteries. See, I've been running through a problem. We are running out of battery. The reason is we are refining and building material around the clock. And I have mined like hell. And this, this is taking forever. Now, let me take you on a tour with the new upgrades that I have. So, we have a new refinery. Look at this. For upgrade model, as usual. For efficiency. Efficiency. Uh, sorry, effectiveness. Which means more, more ingot per ore. And I fixed the landing problem. Apparently it was just not locking properly. Now everything is locked and it's fitting correctly on the platform. So this is our beautiful drill. Let me take you for a ride again. I was charging the battery and apparently we have a slight problem to be honest. The problem is we're running out of power. So I have added a new solar farm now this is the second installment and based on the current input and output we will need a third one why you ask well we're going to expand the base today so let me go on a trip to get some iron i have found one iron patch which was amazing it's somewhere in the mountain there i'm gonna go try to get as much as i can and i'll be right back Okay, so I've just finished the mining trip and we have a problem. I will explain on the way. Let me just get out of here. <laughs> okay, so remember in the last episode I mentioned um, in regard for this drill, it's so well balanced that once it's totally full, it will barely take off or barely lift uh, up if you are planning to go up. Right now, we are totally full. See the cargo bay, the cockpit, even the drills are all full. We're just one kilo, uh, sorry, one liter, one kilo liter away from being totally full. And right now, we cannot go up. We actually cannot go up. Engine is at full power. <laughs> one more upgrade I add to the uh, to the drill is this. This is the shield generator by Sison. Since I'm very clumsy when it comes to drilling, we needed that. So I'm going back to the base. I got some iron, mostly stones. And yeah, the only problem is there is no uranium. Until now, I did not come across any uranium batch. Now the whole reason I'm drilling in the, in the mountain is to get more sun. I know that sounds stupid, but I want to grind the whole mountain. So this atmospheric drill is definitely not going to do it. But the drill next time would be massive. It would, it would literally take on the mountain in, well, probably 10 goes. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, if it can't do it, that's all that matters. So we're coming in on the base. Let me land this thing. And uh, I, I forgot to mention, you remember what I said about symmetrical building or modular building? That's the way I built the solar farm and ironically it worked, it worked very well. So the whole idea of it is, whoa, 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 whoa we're coming too fast, okay. The whole idea is to, to make it modular in a way that if we ever wanted to upgrade, yep. I knew it. Okay, let me quick load and I'll get back to you. Right, welcome back, Fox. So, earlier we crushed the... Uh, crushed badly, to be honest. No, 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 not again, not again, not again. So, the way I built the, uh, the solar farm is in a more or less symmetrical way, I would call it, or a modular way. What I mean is, I can just copy paste the same design to expand it so it's basically 
like this. Copy pasted exactly from the same first two. So the first two is of, I did not count how many block, but I think it's uh, 12 and it's an equal number. So as much as I want, I can expand it and I'm going to go with that direction. Right now it's only like four. Uh, let's assume 24, uh, 24 block, but I want to expand it to be even bigger because we are expanding our refineries and in the next episode I want to build a drill so big that's gonna eat the whole mountain in one go. So let's dock this ship and have a look on our, ooh, shiny. So. We have more stone than we actually need. There is no even space for it, even steel. Let's put you here. And where is the rest connector or oh my God, we got like 300 kilo, uh, kiloton of, of potatoes. <laughs> okay, so let's charge up the battery. Let me show you what I have done in regard for programming. I have change the script a little bit let's go here I've changed sorry not the script but the uh, those so this one is taking in stone only it's not gonna take uh, gravel at priority 5 which is uh, after the refineries because the refinery does not have a priority and I need a cargo bay I want to put a cargo bay for ore the reason is when we are up we and uh, when i'm coming in with the drill especially with the load of the drill there is no place for it to put the uh, the ore in so it's sticking inside it and in the next drill we're gonna have a huge huge cargo so let me start by making the modeler for the base i want another refinery or maybe another two refinery another furnace and I know you expected this refinery to be the bigger one which is the industrial size one only thing is I can't afford it it needs something called alloy plated and that needs platinum so until then we cannot build this but once I go to the moon I am building this it has eight slots from the back and three sorry three on top and three on below so what I want to do is I want to build two of these next to each other share the model mostly it's gonna be effectiveness uh, upgrade and maybe one or two for the power but for productivity it's okay uh, what else we need batteries we need to upgrade the battery and we need to actually work on the farm you see it's not built yet I just made the frame of it Right now, at big time, let's call this big time, I believe we are making up to 23 megawatt free power. Let's have a look. Oh, right now the sun is down. We're only making 5. But at peak time, it's 23 megawatt. See, the battery is always uh, empty, more or less. Why are you empty? Ah, fully depleted and six minutes <laughs> okay and we are merely using what we are using actually we are using two megawatt of this current output two, two megawatt okay so what i want to do next is i want to weld this and add few more batteries so let me do the research and check which battery would suit the base in regard for output input and uh, definitely maximum stored power so i'll be right back folks Okay, so I was uh, wielding and I got a little bit carried away and kind of broke a leg. So I repaired this and I installed a small chill generator. Let's see how the power now. This is now... Okay, so the sun is exactly sharp in the middle. This is... I will believe this is the best time to check on our power output. So everything has been wielded. We are making 31 megawatts, plus of course the wind, uh, the windmill. Oh my God, this is awesome! So 
Next, what do we need? We need cargo container. And I'm guessing how many we need. I have no idea. We need one large for the ingot and another one large for the component because I want to build massive component from now on, not like one by one. I want to build 10,000 each. And uh, yeah, obviously, because the refinery is taking forever, and I'm talking literally forever, I will add another refinery and a furnace. So let me put the basic setup, and I'll be right back, folks. Okay, so before we move on to the refineries, I want to make some more room for battery and power output. So we got... Well, we got batteries here, battery here, and another windmill. I want that. I hope that it would work, to be honest. So, we run out of resources, of course, because our wielder cannot handle a lot. So, let's go back, refuel. And, to be honest, this is not enough. So, I'm going to add another... Yes, another solar farm. So, another plate... Again, it's a modular, so I can do it the same way. By the way, I made the windmill this time, um, let's say, uh, left and right side. The one is there, it's forward, backward, this is left and right, and the one next to it would be forward, backward, and then left and right. So again, it will be like, you know, modular, it's a little bit fancy. Here, uh, I'll show you that in a minute, let me just... Uh, finish the building and set the solar farm then I'll tell you about it pam 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 so as once a wise engineer said the bigger the better we get our solar farm bigger only to destroy it uh, as it seems and I've read the release note on those those uh, solar panel from X-Bar is not well optimized therefore they kind of destroy the <laughs> the graphic of the game so I'm running at a very low FPS right now so I'm going to destroy it and instead we are going to use well I'm not gonna use solar uh, normal solar panel or solar panel at all we are going to use windmill so I'm going to expand the base again but this time in a nice form of wind miles. So, I have installed a shield on the base, it's not yet ready. And uh, why we need a shield, you ask? Well, because I have by mistake destroyed this from the engine. So, let me fix you. There we go. Something exploded here and I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kraken. I see you there. <laughs> Some crazy chunk are flying around. <laughs> we made a dent in the ice too. Okay, so goodbye my friend. Okay, so you destroy my graphic card, I destroy you. Now, I do remember there is a mod that could help with this problem because ironically, oh my god, this is too bad. The game became really slow. I might have to delete this fo solar farm for that. So, whew, that's iffy. Okay, let me go get that mod. And uh, we'll see how will that work. Right, to welcome back. What the? F so I grind down this, and yeah, well, hopefully it's done. What the hell? Oh my God, no! This is a drill. What the hell happened? I don't remember putting you here. Oh my god, what the hell happened? 
it destroyed the base. Something really. <laughs> oh my god, something is really stupid with this game. I'm believing this is a bug. I just installed the new mod. Uh, what it's called? Power reactor, I think. So it add these solar, solar uh, well solar farm I would call them and look at the size of this damn thing. This is huge. So how does it work? Is it's gonna reduce the part count because the whole solar farm would be just few blocks, and I'm gonna make it in a better way. But I guess we need a new drill now. Look at that! I don't know what happened parked right there <laughs> bloody hell we even lost the solar panels too and half of the base ah, ah I'm guessing one more reason to install the shield so let me grind down the uh, solar farm as you can see the game came really laggy because of that so let me grind it down and I'll be right back folks all right folks so small little update here I don't know what happened but as it seems everything is crashing down and I honestly don't know what to do because uh, it's the game is totally unplayable and um, oh my god this is horrible uh, the game is not working well um, because my my computer is not up to let's say up to date and uh, this box became really huge and really heavy so I guess this is it. This might be the end of the series. <laughs> I'm sad to tell you this guys, but I honestly don't know what to do. Please let me know in the comments below what would be the best solution for this. Should we go on or should we stop or should I even restart the whole series with a, I don't know, maybe a better uh, or a better way of building to reduce the polygon. And until next time, stay tuned.